The United Nations continues to back the government of uh, national accord in Libya despite what appears to be a reversal of United States policy towards the military commander leading an offensive against the government based in Tripoli. The White House issued a statement on Friday endorsing General Khalifa Haftar, the leader of self-proclaimed Libya National Army that launched a surprise offensive against the UN-backed government just days before a UN-organized national conference was due to take place in the country. The White House statement said President Donald Trump spoke with the renegade general, quote, recognizing Field Marshal Haftar's significant role in fighting terrorism and securing Libya's oil resources. They further discussed a shared vision for Libya's transition to a stable democratic political system, raising concerns that Washington's move could undercut the legitimacy of the government under Prime Minister Fayez al-Siraj. The UN recognized government in Tripoli continues to be recognized by the United Nations. Uh, the Secretary General's determination uh, and his special envoy's determination to try to bring an end to this current crisis and this current conflict remains uh, unstopped. Uh, they will continue to do whatever they, they can. We continue to appeal for all those who are um, using weapons, especially heavy weapons, to stop, to ensure at least, at a minimum, a humanitarian pause uh, so we can, people need, get the help they need. Essentially, the White House is saying that, that Haftar plays a significant role in fighting terrorism and securing Libya's oil resources. Is that something that SG acknowledges as well? I mean, what, how does the SG uh, look, view we're, we're not General going Haftar? to uh, parse or analyze the statement that came out of the White House. The Secretary General's position, I think, as he himself uh, stated publicly, remains unchanged. The United States and Russia on Thursday indicated they could both not support a proposed draft Security Council resolution calling for a ceasefire in Libya. This as more than 200 people have been reported killed, thousands injured and more than 35,000 newly displaced. If you go into the center of Tripoli as I was yesterday, uh, all the shops are open, the fish market is open, uh, life goes on. Uh, what we are talking about is really the southern belt around the city of Tripoli where most of the clashes and the fighting has been. Um, I think what we said was that we are particularly concerned and we can't put a number on it of people who call uh, emergency services and ask to be assisted or facilitated to leave particular areas and, are not, and the first respondents can't get there to those particular areas. With all eyes on the AU summit in Cairo on Tuesday. South Africa's ambassador Jerry Machila was clear to the Security Council last week that any resolution to the conflict in Libya would have to include a greater role for the African Union moving forward. So, the meeting in Libya in Cairo, which President Cyril Ramaphosa is attending in his capacity as the next African Union chair, will focus on relaunching a political process that has to date been driven by the United Nations envoy, Ghassan Salame. The allegiances of Egypt, whose President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi is also the current AU chair towards General Haftar, is something to watch closely. Shervin Bryceby's SABC News, New York.